Hi, this is Wei Chia. It's just a wee what's up. Now, this is another story of Dalla and Santa Dalla Intan. In the year 1960, when I was in uh, Form 3, I think I was staying in, uh, yeah, at the time was immigrant. I was, this time I'm, I was staying with my, with my auntie, you know, just opposite the Capitol Theater. All right. So, so yeah, that was this fire. It was a small town. Whenever there's something, when something happens, we all get to know it very fast. Well, this is Immigrant Road. It's my, the same road that I'm staying, but it's way in, way into this, uh, yeah, further in at the loop, at the loop where the water, where the river loops the land, the after Anson, that's the end of it. That is the Immigrant Road, where the settlements, where the immigrants stayed there when they first came in, even the ancestors, many of them were, st were, st were, still, were still staying there, you know, okay, the fathers and whatnot. So there was this fire. So everybody came, you know, we got the news, news very, very fast and said that immigrant road, immigrant settlement, the village was on fire, you know, so we had to do something. It's not that we can do, we could do anything, but uh, because of the uh, excitement, so at uh, that time probably I was about fourteen or fifteen. So we we just took our bicycles and just cycled into the the place. So on arrival, of course, yeah, there was a uh, big you saw a big flame, you know, big fire. You know, smoke, you know, billowing into the sky. But that time is. Uh, the village was uh, half on fire. There was, uh, yeah, we can hear sparkling. You can see the smoke coming out, and so everything, everybody's running, was running to, to get the water to try to douse the flames because it was coming. It was, it was, burning from house to house. So at that time, uh, yeah, there were, uh, it was burning, but not, not everything was not raised to the ground yet. So we just. Because water is very the river is very nearby, but then unfortunately, it was low tide. There was no water, and so we had to do a market system. We had to form few lines to reach the river bank, which was about uh, twenty yards away, not very far. But then, but then when the water was low tide, we had to use buckets, and what we could collect the nearest was just mud. So I'd go uh, form a line. So two, three lines to get the water in. We small whatever buckets we had. But uh, we tried to do our very best. We threw at the flames without ever have even mud and sand, whatever water we have. And there was a strong wind blowing, you know, and, uh, we, and then we really saw the houses, you know, got burned down one by one. And even one of my friends, a classmate, whose house was at the edge of the water, one of the last houses, even that, even his house was not safe, so we have to. So we just waited, you know, for the flame, for the fire, to consume everything inside, you know, on site. You know, we could do anything. At the end, we could only watch. Yeah. We could only watch the flames, you know, burning, the uh, because the houses were planks, you know. So they was raised to the ground. That was the day, that was the night, that was the day of the great fire of Immigrant Road, if anybody could remember, you know. So most of the houses,